So the first riff uses a very specific tuning called the weird G tuning. It's basically an open G like but both uh, of the low uh, strings are tuned to G and the lowest one is tuned slightly flat to make it even more weird. And this is the riff Someone's in the Wolf on Lullabies to Paralyze. Great song. For the next riff we need a guitar tuned down to C standard. And by the way, all the guitar tones you are hearing are coming from my Kemper and my Kemper packs. This is a Tubeworks profile that works really good for this sound. Let's just say that this video is sponsored by my own Kemper packs. You will find them down below. For the next riff, we are going all the way back to the first record, how to handle a rope. And I'm also using this crazy fuss from Fjord Fuss to get that sound right. Yeah. For number 12 we have a more recent song from one of the more newer albums. I'm using this in the beginning. The evil has landed. <laughs> Okay, so back to the first album. I did a poll here on YouTube and this is the most mentioned riff by you. And I agree. It's of course... <laughs> Then we are going to the album after the first album, Rated R. And for this song, this riff, I'm using this pedal from Way Huge that I bought myself to get that nasally cocked wah sound. <laughs> Okay, so back to the first album once again. Sorry, there are just so many good riffs there. This riff I really didn't like until quite recently. Um, it's so heavy and powerful and 
weird like everything that I like in a Queens of the Stone Age riff. <laughs> And of course, the reason why I'm sitting here basically, this riff is a riff that every guitar player knows. It is simple, yes, but it's so powerful and the playing is just so good on it. The sound is just like perfect. It's, it's why I like Queens of the Stone Age and maybe why you like Queens of the Stone Age as well. <laughs> Then we have another one from a more recent album, not very recent, but from like Clockwork. I think this is one of the riffs that started a new trend from the band, like with a different style of riff and a different type of sound. But it's a great riff. <laughs> For the next one we have a more cleanish guitar sound going into a more distorted one. It's from Rated R. It's just a great, great song. All of these are good songs by the way and you might be thinking that your favorite riff isn't on this uh, list. Please let me know down in the comment section then. But I haven't necessarily put my favorite songs on this list just my favorite riffs and of course there's a like combination there but yeah this is a great riff from rated r <laughs> I think I could probably just do like every riff from Songs for the Deaf on this list. That would be a bit boring. I was trying to find my favorite ones from that album, which is my favorite Queen's album. And I think we need to have this, um, this song, this riff on the list. God is in the radio. <laughs> And for the next riff, we are still on Songs for the Deaf. This is a riff that I played wrong for many years. And I'm not saying that I'm playing all of these riffs correctly now. And I played it like this. Like a regular power chord right here. But it's actually... It's even more evil than I thought it was. Yeah. <laughs>
And the next riff is kind of a rarity. I think it's the like favorite fan B-side when I see talks on forums and groups and stuff like that. Great song, great riff. I use this pedal for that honky tone once again. To infinity and beyond! <laughs> And then we are going to Era Vulgaris. The opening tune is just one of my favorite tunes from Queens and my favorite riffs. Um, really weird sound, like a slapback sound, kind of not that riven. You also have a like drop thing going on there. Turning on the screw, yep. And for my number one Queens of the Stone Age riff, this one hits really hard every time. I use this pedal once again now to have a sort of a lo-fi sound in the beginning, then I turn it off and then it just blows up. You guessed it right, Millionaire. Yeah, it's the best riff, I think. And again, I wanna know what your favorite Queens of the Stone Age riff is please write it down below and check out my camper packs. Yes.